Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to answer a question, and question is how to recover SA password in SQL Server 2012 or SQL Server 2014. Well, there are certain steps we need to follow in order to accomplish this task. I have written down those steps right here, and we'll go through uh, steps one by one. First, we're, what we're going to do is actually, if SQL Server uh, is already started, we're going to go ahead and stop the services. And then we're going to do is start the SQL Server in single user mode with dash M option. Uh, after SQL Server restarted in single mode, we're going to go ahead and fire up Management Studio using Windows Authentication. And make sure that uh, that Windows Authentication, that user that you're um, using in order to connect to Management Studio needs to be administrator on the server where SQL Server is installed because it's gonna just l uh, let us use just one connection in single mode and that would be administrator uh, no other connection and then after that um, uh, and also keep in mind when we uh, start Management Studio we need to run as administrator mode on SQL Management Studio and we're gonna perform that and you will see that and the third is log into the SQL Server. Once we're logged in, uh, we're going to go ahead and change the SA password. And SA password, after that, we're going to go ahead and uh, go in uh, SQL Server Configuration Manager and change from single user mode to multi user mode, uh, which means we're going to remove dash M option uh, in startup parameters. And then we're going to go ahead and try uh, logging into SQL Server using SA new password. So let's go ahead and perform that. All right, uh, let's go in the server and perform these steps. And we're going to first go ahead and open SQL Server um, Management, SQL Server um, Configuration Manager. So here is uh, SQL Server Configuration Manager. As you can see right now, the SQL services are stopped. So we're going to right click and see that if we have startup parameter dash M option right here, if uh, let me let me remove that. The way that you add it, you do dash M and just add it. This will force SQL Server to start in single mode. So you're going to go ahead and apply. OK. OK. And go ahead and start the SQL services in single mode. What happened, I just wanted to mention it here. Sometimes what happened is that when you try to connect with the SQL Server Management Studio, which we'll do it in a second, uh, it will st still say that uh, it's in a single user mode. No other connection can connect. What you need to do is uh, uh, go ahead because some, some applications are dependent on SQL Server and they acquire as soon as SQL Server started, um, they acquire the connection. You need to restart the services in single mo mode again and then try to connect with SQL Server Management Studio. So if we can reproduce that error, I'll show you how. But if we can't, I'm just going to let you know that you all you need to do is come back here and restart the SQL services in single mode. So what we're going to do is uh, here's my Management Studio. We're going to go ahead and right click on that. And don't forget to run as administrator. So here is our uh, um, Attack Brothers Windows authentication. This is admin, so we're going to try to connect it. And and we reproduce that error that login failed for the user. So what we're going to do is we're going to click OK, cancel. We're going to go back and restart the services again, just in a single mode. And now, since our uh, management studio is in administrator mode, we're going to go ahead and try to connect with SQL Server again. And you should be able to connect it. All right, so we're connected with the SQL Server right now. So we're going to go ahead and change the SA password. Here's my SA. You're a sysadmin as an administrator now. You can go ahead and change the password. So I'm going to go ahead and change the password. I'm going to click OK. Now, what I'm going to do is just so that you know this is a single user mode, I'm going to go ahead and try to connect using SA and putting our new password. And it's saying that it's a single user mode. It's not going to let me do that. So that is okay. 
uh, we're gonna go ahead and and close the management studio and we're gonna go ahead and go to the properties and go to the startup parameters and take the single user mode option out apply okay okay and restart the SQL services now SQL services will start in um, multi-user mode so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to log in um, first we're gonna go ahead and log in as uh, our management stu uh, Windows authentication Well, SQL Server hasn't come up yet all the way. So, okay, SQL Server is restarted and we're connected using Management Studio, uh, our uh, Windows authentication. So we're gonna go ahead and connect with SA as well. This is our new password that you just changed. And here we are. We're connected with our new SA password. So this is how you recover uh, SA password you, uh, in uh, SQL Server 2012 and SQL Server 2014. And I hope it helps.